Have you spilled water on your keyboard? If your keyboard has these holes down here, it should be fine. But what if your boss comes in and then spills more water? Or you don't have those holes? Then I guess you'll have to look for my guard. And also for good measure, I'll just pour this whole thing all over my keyboard. You know, just so you know, my method actually works. So first thing you want to do is don't press any of the keys. Now, you have to tip it around like this and upside down. Tap lightly on the back to try to get rid of moisture out of the keys. Then take it to a dry location. Now, you have to remove all the screws. This may take a few minutes. Once you are inside of the board, you can see all the moisture and this thing will definitely be wet so put that to the side and we need to concentrate on this so first thing take the membrane out put it to the side you need to locate the motherboard now you just unscrew the motherboard screws now you need to take out this retaining bucket as you can see, this circuit board comes out. Now, you can pull the whole entire, not membrane, mm, sensor pad out. Now, you are left with the bare plastic. Now, you should dry this off. Do not worry and dry off the board. I, a little bit, I normally just dry the board with um, isopropyl alcohol. I normally dry it with just a um, hair dryer and to get rid of all these waters in the crevices here just use a hair dryer. I have now cleaned up the whole casing and blue air uh, hotel over this. Now just repeat with all these pieces. Once you did that, put the sensing membrane on, you have to reattach this thing here. See, it's reattached now but leave it alone don't touch it and then put this membrane on this I'll need to clean this out and dry it just trying the last piece now once you have the last piece you just put everything back together like this one thing don't forget this bracket over here because without this, this uh, thing would have a poor connection and it wouldn't really work. If you desperately want to fix your keyboard and you don't want to screw it in because we've got like an essay due tomorrow. So you can just, the four screws in the corners here, those are enough to hold the keyboard together. But this is going to be loose and uh, when you spill more water... If you have a spool proof keyboard, even three, even what two milliliters is not is going to go through this. So you gotta secure it so these things they can actually seal up with the other side of the keyboard. Now, once you have done all of that, you can now test it out. Hello. Yes, it does work. This is not a lie. Look at this, I'm typing, you can hear the keys and look, it's actually working. So, thank you for watching guys. I actually risked my own equipment. So, please like, subscribe and stuff. Okay, thank you.